Hey guys, this is Terry. Today we're talking about germs. Germs are everywhere. We have good germs, we have bad germs, but they are everywhere. We have some that are in our stomach, we have some that are on our skin. We have germs everywhere and they're called microbes. They're in your mouth, your skin, and even your important organs. All microbes are not bad. Some are helpful, some are harmless, but some can kill you. We used to think that science could beat illnesses carried by germs. In the late 1900s, new vaccines and drugs seemed to have won the battle. But germs are coming back. Drugs that used to work don't work anymore. New diseases are showing up. Medicine has helped a lot in fighting germs, but for now, Earth's tiniest creatures are still our biggest enemies. We have many deadly infections. In North America, infectious diseases are the third leading cause of death. The number one top killer right here is, this is a microslide, is respiratory infections. That's your lungs. That includes the flu. And this is what it looks like on slides. Here is number two. Doesn't this look different? This is what the AIDS virus looks like under a slide. Number three, this is a picture of number three, is intestinal diseases like cholera. This is what it looks like in the microscope slide. This is what TB looks like. Tuberculosis is a form of lung disease that is very, very dangerous. This green looking virus is called meningitis and it can actually get into the brain and infect the brain. It has killed almost a hundred thousand people, I mean a million people, 625,000 people. There is a viral meningitis and a bacterial meningitis. This is what malaria looks like. It's found in the bloodstream. This right here is actually syphilis. It is a syphilis is a um, STD is a sexually transmitted disease. You can cure it with medicine, but many people do not show symptoms, so they do not know to go get um, medicine until it is too late. But this is syphilis.
This is whooping cough. Many children um, receive the vaccination. It is called pertussis. Is in D the DTP, and but young children, like infants, cannot get the vaccine till they're a year old. So sometimes they catch this virus when they are before they are a year old, and it makes them very very sick. This picture right here is what measles look like. Measles is also a vaccination that you can get when you are young. When you are like almost four. But some children do not receive the measles vaccination or they catch measles before they are um, vaccinated against it. This picture right here is called tetanus. It um, comes in the same vaccination that the um, that the pertussis vaccination is in. However, some children do not get that vaccination, and so they can catch tetanus um, by a rusty nail or things like that, and they do not show symptoms until they're very ill. Even a mild disease can have a huge effect. This is a cruise ship, which we learned in the past few months that cruise ships can actually have a, um, an effect with transporting people around the world and spreading viruses. Germs don't cause all illnesses like cancer, diabetes, and other are caused by um, an inherited problem. They are seen as non-infectious diseases. That's why you can't catch them from a sick person. You cannot catch diabetes. You cannot catch high blood pressure. So you cannot catch a cancer. So sometimes we need to examine why or we need to think why are people becoming sick. You have to have a microscope to see germs. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.